Hello, hello. Okay. Hi. So uh, this is Kevin again. Uh, today we're doing lesson number four, how to get your life together. Uh, so lesson number four is about work. Okay. So work is something very uh, close and dear to my heart. I think about this a lot. But the purpose of this lesson is very simple. It's just to, uh, I guess, it's about how to be happy at work. Uh, so being happy at work is very important because uh, if you're not happy at work or if you're stressed in any ways, then uh, you will waste like all of your energy at working. So when you're not working, you'll be like retired. Okay. So like when you're retired, then you can't really do the thing you want. Okay. So you. If you're very like dedicated to your work, then you always like bring your best to your work. But if you're not happy at work, then you're gonna be like totally exhausted. And then when you go home, you cannot like redo anything. Like all the things you want to do, uh, like you cannot do it at work because at work you're working. So all the things that we want to do, we have to do it like when we're not working. And then, but like if you're not working. And you're tired, then 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 you will just want to like rest or whatever or distress like, like, you know, being in the work industry. I mean, working working men. Uh, because of that, like people do all kinds of things to like distress themselves. You know, they just develop very bad habits. They pick up all these vices. You know, <laughs> like, you no know, nowadays like smoking weed is a big thing, and everybody just like smoke weed after work. <laughs> Yes, smoking weed and you know this like party and uh, just like, all those things is just to like de de stress because they're just so stressed at work. So work has uh, uh, has become like a like a has a very bad like reputation, especially for like working class people. They do a nine to five or they do multiple jobs. Like this, this is not being looked at as like a positive things. You know, this is always being looked at as like a like a like a negative thing like a, like oh you're just working so much and it's so bad for you there's so many research that talks about like how bad it is for you okay and then uh and that's really what happened like when i try to do this recording and i i, I kind of like like look up some you know uh work related um uh, stuff on the internet and then uh, most of them is just talking about like like negative things like like pretty much describing a normal working person like they have a that kind of lifestyle then it's like bad okay <laughs> so i don't understand if that's bad and then what what is good exact exactly like like are we like not supposed to work anymore or something <laughs> so i don't know what that's that's about okay so i'm just speaking from my experience and um and uh i i i i, I think about this a lot because um of course, I experienced the same thing while I work. I didn't feel happy, and then it was like, like, okay, let's say uh, I wanna work and and I wanna, I I know I make money while I work, and then in in order to like increase my income, so I naturally will want to work more. But if I'm not happy at work, then I work it more. Then it just means that, that I gonna make myself like more unhappy just to to make money, right? So just something just not right about this. It's like. Okay, so you want to get ahead, but the things that you do to get ahead, like, makes you very unhappy. <laughs> like, how can this be? Like, then how exactly can you, like, get ahead? How can you, like, make more money? Like, 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 what? Why is there such a thing, like, 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 you can just, like, find something you enjoy or something? Like, like, what everybody say, like, everybody preaching, this is like a preaching of society that you have to, like, find something, like, you love and find something, like, I got passionate about and then I like, you, you just like a dream job and this and that and then there's all this like social issue and political issue surrounding work and uh, uh, I, I I don't know man people like do all kinds of occupation and they make like good money from it like like is it it doesn't seem to me like 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 even work is just work but you know it, it's just life also it's just like if you're if you're functional uh, member of society and you know you have a job you know like that's just uh, if you're living in the city you have a job so I, I don't know what 
what like all these like like teaching about like you know like not not like not doing the thing you love and whatever like, like I'm not sure about that okay uh so but of course they're right I mean if you do have a chance to work at your dream job or whatever uh, of course that'd be wonderful but then again it's like if you work at something you really love and like, you always dream about and you're passionate about, does that mean that you're not gonna have problem at work? You're still gonna have problem at work. So, so I, I, I'm not sure about this like, 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 you know, this belief of society emphasize so much on like, like, oh, you just have to like, like your job has to be something you love, and you know, I don't know about that. Okay, it's true, but but it, I, I think. For me, I think more about like in terms of like actual reality of working. How can you like manage that? Okay, so uh, this this is what these lessons are about. Okay, and then um, but I have to say that because of that, I start to look for ways that like there's some reading, there's some books about, there's some looking up some stuff and like how to like be happy at work. And uh, I have to say that I I didn't really find anything that's helpful okay they have a very interesting idea but i feel like all those ideas like only happens in idealistic situation it's like it's like if you work for a company that's just doesn't function like that like like it's not ideal it's a good company but it's not perfect you know there are things that the nature of the work and whatever i mean i mean it's like it's like okay they have open door policy but can you actually do it while you're working it's like it's like I, I don't know, like all those things I found, they just talk about like ideal situation, and of course the situation is ideal, but, uh, but in reality is that really what it is? So, so I didn't really help any find anything like helpful. I mean, they they have good ideas and it's interesting, but I just feel like I couldn't really apply whatever they say to my situation, and uh, so I was just spending a lot a lot of time. Like, I like thinking about that and try to figure things out, and then finally, I realize what the problem is. Okay, so though, so and and again, like when I say this, this is like my experience. Uh, and then the, my my purpose of sharing this thing is is to help you know you at work so you can be happy. Okay, so but but it's my from my experience. I don't know if you agree with it, but I'm just sharing what I experience and what works for me. Okay, so so again, it's like you don't have to do exactly what I do, but but it's just an idea you can take into consideration. And I believe that if you apply those things, it will help your situation. Okay. Um, so anyway, so I realized that what stunned me was uh, this concept of work-life balance. Okay, so. This concept of work-life balance is like, is again it's something that the society like preach. Okay, so, so I was trying to find work-life balance the whole time, and then I realized that because I was trying to do that, I cannot find any solution to my problem. Okay, because I keep separating like work and life as like two different things. Okay, uh, because of you know just the I don't know like like the from the culture or whatever they 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 have this like work life balance thing uh basically it's just saying that like work and life is like a separate thing but you know i i realized that because of my belief in that concept it it, it just like it made me not able to figure things out you know cuz cuz like and, and 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 because of that, I realized that work-life balance is kind of like a, it's kind of like a thing that doesn't really like, 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 like to me, it, 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 this this separation of work and life is a mistake. I, I don't think there's like work-life balance. Okay, this the, the work-life balance means like, okay, when you work, you work, and you don't have life. And then when you're not working, then you have a life. Then your life like began. Okay, like like that 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 to me is just like, like no like like is is your I don't know why 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 you you just separate these things. You know like like because I keep trying to find out 
like how to work things out with these things separated. And I realized that if I just don't separate it, if I don't look at work as work and life as life, it's just if I just don't think about that, then 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 I start to like like my attitude start to change and I began to see things that like like really helps me in terms of just not just work but just in life in general. So uh, I don't believe in like work life balance. I just believe in activities and inactivities. Okay, so if you work and then when you're working and then and and then after you're not, not working it was like, oh now I can have a life. And, and and but to me there's no such thing. There's only like activities and inactivities. Okay. You can be working, but it just depends on your activity level at work. Like you can be working but not doing anything. Okay, you can be there and then you can get paid, but like like how you carry yourself, like like when you work, like do you do anything? Like if you're lazy, if you don't do anything, then then if you don't fill your day with activity, it doesn't matter if you work, you work, you, you still don't do anything. And then uh the same thing, like if you're not working and then you have your free time, but during your free time you don't do anything, then what's the point of like work life balance? It, it just means that you you know you you when you don't work you don't do anything anyway you know so so it's not about like work and life it's just about like activities and inactivities okay and when you begin to fill your days with activities everything will like work out doesn't matter you work like two jobs three jobs or like you don't work or like you have three days three times all the time or or whatever like like it's just about like fill your days with meaningful activities. So this activity can be anything. Any kind of activities is is good for you. If you just think of your life as in terms of like activity and inactivity, then work will just be part of your activity. And after work, it will just part of part of your activities. And when you're inactive, you're just inactive. You're just not being productive. It doesn't matter if you're working or not working. You're getting paid or not getting paid. If you're not doing anything, then you're not being productive. Okay, but it's not about being productive or not productive. It's just being, it just means that you manage your life based on like your activity level. Okay, it's either like you have a lot of activity or you don't have any activities. So it doesn't matter if you're working or not working. Okay, so I realized that you, you, you so I, I stopped looking at terms of like like activity, I mean work and life, like work life balance. I just look look at it in terms of activity and inactivities, okay? And I try to try to fill my days with as much as much activities as I can. And that's what makes me feel like fulfilled. Okay, so that's my case. Uh and uh, I believe that you know this this uh, concept of like just make your day, you know, more meaningful with activities. Like, like, like I, I think this can be like so helpful. Okay, suppose like you want to do like a project, you know, like, like, like you just you just take action to do it, you know, and then um, that will like move your life forward. You don't have to wait till you're not working to do it. You know, when when work will just be part of your uh, part of your activities, okay. And then when you want to rest, then you know your work can also be part of that. You know, you inactivity can also include working. Also, like you can take days off, or you can you just manage your times based on like your activity level, not based on like work and like not working. Okay, so. So I, I I find that to be the most helpful, and when I start to like change my attitude towards work, just based on like activity levels, I feel like my personal life also get managed and worked out, and my time also get like managed and worked out like like much much better. Okay, so I'll, I'll, so this is what this lesson is all about. Okay, just like it's just about like like thinking about it in terms of like activity and inactivities and, and what you want to do okay like like if you're passionate about something then you will take all the activity you need to 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 accomplish that when you are not having anything like like going on then of course your activity will be inactivity you know you will not you will not be doing something okay because 
you're not doing anything. You don't have anything going on. <laughs> so even though you work three, two, three jobs, or you have free times or whatever, but 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 in actuality, like like there isn't anything going on. So you're not really doing anything. Okay. So so it really like it just depends on your one life. For me, I like to like start like little projects on life and whatever. This like have some hobby. So so you know, I'll fill my days with those things. You know, like 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 work will just be part of it. It'll just be like a like a time I, I'm 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 working, and then when I'm t- when I'm not working, I'll just do those things. So so, to me, it just becomes like activity and inactivities. Okay, and with all that say, I don't mean to sound like like okay if you work and then if there's a problem at your work, you just like ignore it. Okay, I don't mean that. Okay, of course, uh, every work has to be like legal okay there's are like policy there are things in place there's labor laws that like you know there's something wrong at work if there's like abusive or like discrimination like if there's something that's going on that you know is wrong you don't have to stay there okay like just you can just like move on or you can do something about it okay i'm, I'm not saying that like because of this you just have to like like work at a place you don't like because you're not supposed to feel that way like I don't mean it like that okay if there's a place that's really really wrong you can like just like leave or take legal action like you you have every right as an employee and, and you know like the the working class of you know United States anyway or have all kinds of like rules and laws to protect them and you have to be you have to know that okay like like being an immigrant and you know like observing some stuff going you know like like when you work there cut there there's like poster in the in on the, in, the, in in your workplace is required by law okay that says that oh if you're like forced to work like by somebody and if you like forced to work like like illegal participating in some illegals whatever you have to report it okay like this is like a big poster like required by law that you, you like they can protect you there's like a secret phone number you can call okay and you can be you don't even have to speak english to do that you know like there are st- things that happens like that so so i'm not saying that like like if there's nothing wrong with your work you know sometimes work politics can be like very very complicated and there could be abuse and and and, and neglect and 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 you know all kinds of stuff can happen okay so uh so uh, uh, you just have to be smart about it, and then if you don't like your work, just don't work there. You can quit. You know, I'm not like this lesson is not that like oh you should just work and not complain about it. No, it's like, like complain all you want. You know, you have to just be smart about it, and like anything that's illegal, you have to get out or you have to do something about it. Okay, so that's why part of a work working life is to always look for opportunity. Okay, like I myself changed like. Man, dozens of jobs in the past like twenty years, like I, all kinds of jobs. Like whatever opportunity is better for me, whatever place is better for me, whatever people are nice to me, whatever is like good for me, whatever like I get along with, it's, like I keep moving, 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 moving. You know, and that's the principle I follow. I never stay in one place. I I always look for new opportunity. You know, like whatever I get a promotion, whatever I get higher pay, whatever is better, whatever I can learn. Like I just keep moving, moving. Work is just something like for me, just like. Like, like, like something fun that I can like choose. Like I, I don't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stuck there to anything because I have to or whatever. And it was never like that for me. I always like moving on, moving on, moving on. But then I don't do it like so, like blatantly. Like, like I don't complain about everything. I always just like evaluate like like different work and what it can do for me and 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 what the work I have right now. Like if it's good for me. Yeah, I always look at those things. Uh, I remember working at a restaurant. There was a chef. He he he. I was quitting, and then uh, I went to see him. I was like, "Hey, nice working with you," and I'm leaving, you know. And then when he told me that, like, "Oh, Kevin, you know, I'm very glad you're leaving here. Like, like on a good turn. Like you're getting along with everybody. Everybody's happy. That means like if something wrong, you can always come back. And uh, yeah, so never burn your bridges." You know, so so I always remember that it's like, okay, don't burn your bridges, okay? Like, um, I seen people leave work because like, like I saw inter, I saw, I saw a, 
I, I saw I, I saw a video online and this might be true but I just feel like this is just such a wrong attitude to take like this person he was like getting fired and then I on his last day just went to the place I work and he started to sing a song and he put it on the internet and then he just said oh this work sucks the manager sucks everybody sucks and this place is the company sucks they don't give you vacation I want a promotion they didn't give me they just fired me for like like cause they they, they, they don't wanna like they, they, they like somebody better than me, like, like they just sing a song and then like everybody was clapping, it was like, oh yeah, fuck work, and, and then he left, okay? So, so like, like he basically just like pissed off everybody off and then left, okay? I don't know why this kind of like culture thing, like, like being promoted, like, like, oh, fuck work and whatever, like, like, I was also, I was, I was taught by other people that like never to burn your bridges. Always leave your work on a good turn, okay? Like of course unless they really piss you off and you left and you're pissed off and, and you know I, I guess that that's that's just what happened. You know it's not gonna be perfect anytime. But I don't really see the point of like like retaliating and go on a rampage and like like and then everybody's supposed to be like like Oh yeah, you're right. Work sucks. Yeah, they never pay you enough. They they only care about money and whatever. That might be true, but it's not your business to like you know, to like, yeah, they're evil and like I I don't really see a point of that. Like 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 what kind of person like, like, I don't know. It's just such a reflection of your characters and 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 I I was never taught to do that. Okay, but then again, like I say, like the work really is, like abusing you then of course you you leave and you take you know the proper action for it but but my point is that always look for new opportunity and don't burn your bridges try to leave like on the good turn and then don't don't try to like stay there for your entire le entire life okay there's like people like stay at one job for like so many years and then and they, they they call it dead end job for the for a reason you know and but 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 you know it's up to you if you're happy with whatever it is your situation is with those kind of jobs but but I'm just saying that like if you look for opportunity you're gonna have opportunity okay I have a lot of opportunity that came my way and I just took it right away like in that instant I just say yes I will do it show me how I'll, 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 I'll do it right now I call you tomorrow I, I come check it out I I I'll go talk to the person I right away I do it I always just do it even though I don't really want the job I just always train uh, to look for opportunity this is also from Jim Rome okay so like if you listen to him he'll always tell you that to look for opportunity okay like opportunity is like the season it doesn't come again you know like always like grab the opportunity and that really helps me ever since I adopted that attitude I, a lot of opportunity opened up for me because I always just look for things and whatever happens I always just go grab it okay so that's what I want to say about that okay so now we're moving on to like how to be happy at work okay so in in the asian culture um we we like to talk about like having harmony in all things okay so so i think it's important like if you want to be happy at work like everything you work have to work in in harmony okay but but then again like this is like an asian thing but but i'm just using it to describe what I want to say okay it's not it's not like a this is not about a spiritual thing or whatever okay I'm just using this to describe like the concept okay but but this is the way I think of it okay it's just naturally being an Asian I guess I'll think about this kind of stuff okay so so harmony in in our culture or maybe in other cultures too but I don't know uh, we always talk about like having harmony in many things okay so in 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 Asian, we like to like say like in order to have harmony with you know the thing around you, you need to have harmony with the people. You need to have harmony with the place you're at, and then you have you need to have harmony with the time. Okay, the time they typically refer to as like the timing of thing. Okay, Asian people are very you know heavy on like. Oh, this is the season. This is the time. This is an auspicious day, and they they always talk about like time in terms of like like oh yeah, the right time to do the right things, and you know like that this time is not a good time to do like kind of like that. Okay, so this is just a basic culture belief thing. Okay, we call it like 
like people, uh, place and and heaven. Okay, like heaven represents like time. Okay, but but they call it heaven. It's like like there's a, a tiny place like like dictated by like destiny and whatever. And then those are like the time that like you have to take chances and whatever. Okay, so so this is like, just like a belief of like Asian culture, but but. It just means time, okay? It just means time management, okay? So if you want to have harmony in everything you do, like, like, but in this case, we're talking about work. Like, you need to have, like, be peaceful with the people around you that you work with, okay? And the place you're at has to be, like, peaceful, okay? You have to make sure that place, wherever you are, is, like, peaceful, okay? To, like, it has to be a peaceful place for you, okay? And then... Also, the time just means time management. Okay, you have to manage your time at work. Okay, and if you don't get along with the people at work, there's always those people. You just, no matter whatever, is, just you just can't get along with. Them. <laughs> it's not anybody's fault, man. It's just something that happens, you know. And 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 but then because of that, you're just gonna like get emotionally disturbed every time you go. You see that person. Like it will just stir you inside, like emotionally, and that is just gonna like create like a burden and create a stress. Like your body, your mind have to work extra hard just to like manage that, and then and that's why you will get exhausted after work every time. You know, like like you know, like like if you don't have you don't have peace with the people around you, then it's just gonna cause like emotional stress. Any kind of emotional stress. Any flares of like tempers and whatever it's, it's, it's caused by people. Okay, it's not really caused by things. Things are inanimate; they have no emotion. They will not cause you disturbance, emotion. Only like people. Okay, so every time you have like emotional problem, you have like this like uh, you know, like annoying or whatever. All this negative like feeling is caused by people because you don't have like peacefulness like with the people you work with. Okay, and. The place is like 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 this is very interesting because like the place you work at has to be like 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 safe, okay? Like like when we talk about like place being peaceful, it's mostly just about safety, okay? There's so many things I can do about safety and there's so many things that's like not safe at work, okay? I don't, I don't know for each place is different maybe for like office or whatever. It's like more safe and for like some other places not safe you are like Working on the like a uh, freeway or something that's like not very safe, <laughs> like car coming, like or whatever. But but like every place is like, like when you have conflict with like the place you work at, like every time you go to that place, you just feel like, like it just is it is just mostly to do with like safety. Okay, like you have to make sure there's good air circulation. Like there's no smell. There's no like the temperature is not too hot. The temperature is not too to call is, is like it's not too noisy. Sometimes there's like a machine and there's like all kinds of like thing and the equipment has to be safe. The equipment, the, the door has to open and then there has to be like, 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 like things stacking so high or like crush you or something like like. There's all kinds of stuff, you know. Like like you just have to look at the place and make sure the place is safe. Okay, this is a big thing. Like when I was at work, I make a really big deal all of it. Okay, I will like. Cut myself at work, and then I'll just go look for a first aid box, and there isn't. And I, I will just get raised hell at work. Like, how come there's no first aid box? It's illegal not to have it. And then when you have it, you open the first aid box, and it's, inside is empty. I also like raised a, like, and made a big deal out of it. It's like, you have a first aid box, but inside it's fucking empty. Like, what the fuck, you know? Like, like I don't let loose on these kind of things. I make sure, like, everything's safe. Okay, I, I, I even carry a first aid box with me when I go to work. I remember, like, someone cut themselves. They ain't got no fucking first aid boxes there. I had to use my own. I, I went up there and I saved the person. You know, because I have my first aid. Fucking person is bleeding everywhere. This is ridiculous. I, I make a big deal all of it whenever I see, like, there's no safety thing. There's no, like, like eye washing station. There's no, like, glove. There's no, like, like, like first aid. There's no, like, like, like emergency number, there's no fire extinguisher. Like most places have all these things. Most places have it. But but I'm saying that like like there are things that you have to watch out for and then it's mostly just about protection, protecting yourself and safety. 
okay, all the equipment has to work. If the equipment is not working, it works halfway, or you don't have tools to do anything, and 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 just that's just a bunch of bullshit. You have to make sure you have those things, okay? When I work, I I buy all my own tools and and stuff. I have my gloves and whatever. Like like if the work has it, I'll use it. But then I have a set of tools. So like get what you need. Like whatever you need. If you need the tools, you need the equipment, you need the whatever thing, then 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 just just spend some money buy it. Okay. I wear my own work pants. I carry my own stuff, and 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 that's because I find the stuff they provide for you at work is inadequate. It's not. It's not good. But it's just that. I want to just be better. I just want to be more comfortable. I want to be more safe. I want my own shoes. I want my own whatever. Okay, so so all these things is is about the place. Okay, like like if if the place is safe, then then it will you you you'll be peaceful at work. Okay, you'll not be stressed. You don't understand all these things will cause you like so much stress. Okay, and that goes to uh, another big thing is the cleaning. Okay, like tidiness and sanitation is also very important, especially in this time that like we have like COVID and all that. Like, like man, you have to be like clean. Okay, you have to do, like. Now I work at places where the drain doesn't work. Okay, and we're like working like muddy waters and stuff. It's like, like I mean, that's ridiculous. You get shut down by health department, but like, like I make a big deal all of it. You know, like you have to like, like make sure the place is clean. Okay, I I, I spend a lot of time cleaning. And I like to work with people who are very clean, and I think cleaning is just such a good habit to have. I, of course, I talking more in terms of like my work, which is like restaurant. Uh, I, I imagine like if you work at office or something, then it's much much easier to clean, much easier to say. But of course, if you you know work at a recycling center, there might be different. There's trash everywhere. <laughs> but but it's like the concept is just that you need to have some sort of like order and organize organization. You need to have some sort of like tidiness. Okay, that goes to your workstation and the whole workplace, and then even yourself. You have to you know make sure like you're like tidy, you're clean. You don't wear like dirty clothes all the time. You like you know like what all kinds of things. You know just a like basic. Hygiene and basic sanitization that's very important okay and another thing is also just like like injury okay like like uh like make sure you wear protective gear with a protective like make wear back brace you know like like i like i see especially a lot of young people when they start working like they really don't care about their body you know they don't wear gloves they don't do anything they just live with your back they, they 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 think they're invincible okay like 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 man just like you have to like be safe okay safety is number one okay safety 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 okay like once you have safety at your work i mean at, at the place you work at uh everything will be great okay you know just know where the fire exit is know where the uh first aid thing is no you know there's you know there's all, all kinds of stuff like there's like like, like drills and you know, like all those things are important. You know, like just make sure you 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 read the instruction, how to use the equipment, read the uh, know what temperature this thing, know where the electric socket is. There's there's some equipment. There's like high voltage or like stuff like that. Like you just have to be aware of it. Just always focus on safety, and then you'll have peacefulness at your work. Okay, and. uh the second thing is the the people, okay. So how do we deal with people, okay? This also stumped me for so long, cause like man, some people are just like you just can't get along with, man. Like like they just like don't like you or you don't like them or or something, you know. It's just su such a hard time working with people, you know. And and it has gotten so bad for me that man, I want to like kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just like, man, what the fuck is your problem? And the, they also wanted to kill me too, you know. They got so angry at me. I was like, what the hell did I do? Why you get so angry at me? Anyway, so I I don't know what that's about, okay. But but it's something I think about a lot, and and it's one of the reasons I think about like how to be happy at work is because like, man, how come some people just like never have any problem with like people, uh, and then uh, I have all kinds of problems with people, like like. Man, all kinds of problems from like big problem to like discrimination and whatever and abuse to like little thing. 
little thing that just annoys you and you know whatever and there's like disrespect and there's like back talking and then there's like rumor or there's like like <clears throat> like they just look down on you this do all these like indirect like like remarks and they just like passive aggressiveness like all kinds of stuff I, I experienced all kinds of bullshit you know I was like man the world is here at work why are we taking everything so personally man what the fuck's your problem <laughs> So so like like I laugh about it now, but it was like really really hard for me when those things happen, and 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 you know I was just keep thinking like what the hell can I do about that, you know, and 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 I was just like I don't know what I was doing. I was like driving or I was doing something, and I was just thinking about this problem. I was just keep thinking about it until my my head was gonna explode. I just can't figure it out. What what's the deal with these thing? Like why people hate each other so much? And then I just realized that, like, a thought just came to my mind just that, like, I don't have to take care of the people, okay? If I just take care of the place, and then the people will naturally be taken care of. And I just had a big realization because they're probably experiencing the same thing I experienced. They probably just, like, don't get along with people either. They probably just have so much hard time at work. They probably don't know how to time manage, they probably have stress this and there, and they're probably like, don't take care of themselves, they just like feel pain, and then they may, and something, something, something. So I feel like the reason they're like acting that way is because they're experiencing the same thing I experienced. <clears throat> they're not happy at work just like I'm not happy at work, okay? So I realized that I don't have to take care of like their emotional problem, I just have to take care of like what I can take care of, which is taking care of the place. And when you take care of the place, if the place become peaceful, then naturally I will become peaceful, and naturally they will become peaceful too, because they're probably not peaceful because of the place they work at, because of something, because they don't have their uniform, because the scheduling is wrong, because of something, 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 some bullshit. Okay, it make them all like stress out. It's just the same thing that happened to me. Okay, so I really don't focus on the people anymore. Like whenever I go to work, I always focus on like how to make the place better, and. Just by doing that, I realized that even people who are like very hard to get along with, even people who are like assholes, they slowly, slowly just became a nice person. <laughs> kind of like magic, okay? Like I didn't tell them anything. I just kind of observed like what I do instead of like focusing on what they say to me. I just try to take care of the place, try to tidy it up, try to like do some work and whatever. I try to like make my days like full and whatever. And then. Uh, <clears throat> And then just make sure uh, everything's like wonderful. And then, uh, and then uh, I, I realized that when I started doing that, people started to like, maybe like unconsciously they just do it or they maybe saw I was doing this or they were doing it or, or something. But, you know, once you start cleaning out, other people will start cleaning out. Once you start to be tidy, other people will be tidy. Once you start to smile, everybody will begin to smile. Once you begin to do things, uh, they will start to do things once you start to organize. They will start to organize like, like little by little. Like even the placement of things. Like people used to place things like everywhere. That's how messy. I just always like organize and place things in the same way. And the next time I come and then it was placed by the same way. They started doing that. The same thing. But I don't know if they do it on purpose or they just unconsciously do it. Because they just keep always seeing the things at that place. So it's like okay I guess these things belongs there. And then you know just little by little like the place will change. And then the people will change, and then, oh, I didn't do anything. All I did was just, like, try to take care of the place. Okay. Uh, there's another aspect of getting along with people. Sometimes you don't get along with people. It's simply because you don't want to listen, okay? So you just think you're right all the time, and then you think everything's unfair, and then, and then people, like, talk to you, and they'll be like, fuck you, and then they'll be like, oh, this guy sucks, and then you guys don't get along anymore. Okay, so a, lot, a, a big part of it is also that. It's just like, like for some reason, you don't want to follow the rule there. Okay, I have a problem with that too. Like, there are just things at work, I just feel like it's so like redundant and useless and stupid. And I just don't want to follow it. Like, why do I have to do it? It's like so stupid, I don't want to do it. And because of that, it caused me like some like conflict with people. And then I just realized that, like, you know, if you just follow the rules of the place, like, 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 you'll get along with people, okay? And then, um, and then, uh, 
again, I, I emphasize that I'm not talking about like abusive rules. I'm just saying like every company have their rules, okay? For example, like like my manager came around with a box and then tell everybody to put their cell phone in. Okay, because of the company policy don't want people like carrying cell phone while at work. So I just put my cell phone in there without second thought. But some people, you know, they're just so like attached to their phone. They're like, why the fuck do I have to put my phone? Why can't I carry it? You carry a phone. How come manager get to carry a phone? We don't get to carry a phone. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, dude, just put a fucking phone in the box. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is a big deal? Okay, so like, like stuff like that. Like, like there are rules in place for every company and whether you like it or not, as long as in the legal lemons of the law, you know, just follow those things. Like if you need to come in early, then come in early if you need to, like if they, they, they don't want you to clock out like, like, like five minutes after work, then you just don't do it. And they don't want you to park there, don't do it. They want you to do this, don't do it. They want you to wear this, just wear it. It's like, there are like rules of the company, whatever the, their culture or their like rules and whatever the, the, you know, just follow it. And sometimes it's just simply like, if someone is like a higher position than you, you know, tell you something and you, you just do it, okay? Like this is a big problem I have, I just naturally, Stubborn and I don't want to listen to anybody. I think my way is the best. So like when they tell me to do something different, I'll be like, fuck you. <laughs> but but you know, because of that, it caused me so much like heartache, you know, like it was just if you just like, oh okay, sure, and then, you know, whatever, they hire you and you, they they tell you something and you just follow and, and that's it. And then I feel like oh like it's such a big burden just get lifted off my heart. It's just like What's the big fucking deal? Just listen, just do it. It was like, whatever. You know, compares to being right, but like miserable to like, just do what people want and then not feeling any like stress at all. Oh man, like I would rather feel that than just like insist like I'm always right. Okay, so <clears throat> just follow the rule of the place, wherever it is. And then uh, and then you'll become one with the place and you, 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 you know, you'll, you'll, you'll be peaceful. Okay. So another thing is uh, time management, okay? So if you don't manage your time properly, oh, you, all kinds of bad stuff will happen. <laughs> You'll be like stressed and whatever. Okay, a majority of the stress, in my opinion, is caused by time, okay? There's some obstacle, there's some restriction with your time. And uh, just think about it. If you have the time to do everything, now everything that you do at work or every task you get you give in and they, if they, they don't give you a timeline for it, it's just like okay just do this and then there's no like timeline there's no time restriction or pressure then you will not have any stress the only reason you have stress is because oh you have to finish this by this time you have to do this by this time you're gonna do this by this time or the time is coming you have to do this right away like like there's all kinds of restriction with time okay that's why I give you like all kinds of stress when you are so stressed at work you typically like it's about time management so check about like like whether you're like having enough time to do those things or like something wrong with your time management or there's always an issue with like not enough time or they rush you it's like we're doing that but they're rushing you they need it right away it's like well fuck I, how can I get it right away and you just start it just some stuff about time okay so if you have a problem with time it's always it will just cause so much stress okay it's like it's like you have to learn to like do time management okay uh <clears throat> so, I, based on my experience, I find that there's a couple of things that will really help with time management, okay? Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm just talking about work in general. I think to manage work in terms of like time management is much, much easier than your personal life, okay? In personal life, really, there's no like restriction. There's no like limits. There's no like deadline. Uh, so it's hard to like gauge what needs to be done, but at work is different. At work is like more structured. So if you have more structured situation, time management is actually easier. It's like like you can like time manage manage like like I like regards to work like much much better than like personal life. Okay, and then I think that if you are able to manage your time wisely at work. You can also manage time wisely in your personal life instead of like, like at work is more about like bringing time management to like a structure. And then your personal life is more about like bringing structure to your personal life. So you, because you work on this, you can kind of like translate into both like time. 
post like situation. Okay, your personal life typically is unstructured. There's no structure. So like if you just make some structure in your life, then you can time manage like much better. And then at work is it's like everything is set to place. Like you you open at this time, you close at this time. There's like a structure there already. So like like applying time management to like a structure situation, I, I think it's much easier. Okay. So here's some of the things I did. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things is that before like you do anything, you have to get ready. Okay. So you have to still assign time to get ready. Okay. This is just a uh, uh, we, you translate that to work for me is just like always be on time, always show up like early or like earlier. Okay. Typically, company don't have problem with people showing up early. Okay, so you can show up early. Uh, they're like, "Oh, great, you're here early, great." And, you know, they, they're not really happy about that. Uh, uh, but that's the one thing I found is that, like, like when I try to manage time, I only manage time based on like the task. Okay, but before the task, you have to get ready, and then you need time for that. So, like, always, like, like. Like set aside time to get ready. Okay, so so it might seem like a very simple thing, but you really just had to apply it. And then to me, it's just about like being on time and like like coming in early. Okay, coming in early at work it really helps to for you to get ready. Uh, whether you need to like change your uniform, or whatever, or you to like whatever um, to check things out and you know and do a little like extra to set up your station whatever like like coming in early than your scheduled time it really helps okay but it doesn't have to be that you just have to have a habit of like before you start anything you have to get ready first okay um like being a cook we if you went to culinary school they will teach you like the proper way to to prepare you know, food, and then uh, they, they, they always, like, every school will teach you different things, but they will always teach you, like, a, like, a, like a system of how you should, like, like, do a task, okay? So, one of the things that they will always have mise en place ready before you start cooking, okay? So, that just simply means that, like, you have all the stuff you need to cook. You need to have it ready before you can cook, okay? It's just a very simple concept, but it's something they have to teach you at school. You have to pay for it. That you know, you pay to go to school so they can teach you simple things like that. So, this is it is important to always get ready. Okay, you cannot start your task if you're not ready. Okay, so so always set aside time to get ready, and that just translate to like sure enough to work early, and that just translate to like sure enough to work early. Okay, another thing is like staying late. Okay, so after you work, you know, like, like make sure you like wrap it up also okay it's kind of like okay you want to get ready before you start but after you finish you have to like put it away you have to clean up you have to like 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 make a conclusion out of it okay you need to like 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 take care of it okay so so this is uh this is something that also helped me a lot with time management uh because there's just so many instant where like you just don't have enough enough time to do anything okay you need a little bit of extra time just to like wrap things up <clears throat> okay and that translate into like staying late at work okay now to my surprise like like my god like people just hate staying late at work they just hate it they have such other hatred to it like 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 on the internet when i research this it's like man every single article is about like how staying late at work sucks, it's like bad for you, it's bad for your health, it will like kill you, or like they, they, they just like make such a like negative like connotation of like staying late at work. It's like what's wrong with staying late? What's wrong with like staying late and work a little extra hour? What's wrong with overtime? Like what's wrong with that? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I don't know why people like hate it so much, man. It was like crazy. It was it was just like like oh it's so bad for you or oh, it causes so much stress or it's like it's not right this is a violation of like 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 it's like wow it's like like what happened to a uh, dedication and 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 you you know like taking initiative and and, and make sure that uh, you know do the exercise leadership uh, you know, like what happened to all of that? <laughs> just like staying late is like 
like so bad, but but maybe staying late is so bad. But but why is same staying late? I'm not talking about like like staying late. Like some people, they just like they're assigned eight hour work week. They but they purposely like put themselves at ten hour work week, and then uh, and then later on they like burn out. And there's like, oh, why do you work so much? It's like, oh, my work so much work, and I have to stay past my time to just finish everything okay that is also a problem with management okay we'll get into that next it's just like like there and not there ain't enough time in the world for you to finish your bullshit okay like you have to like make sure you get things done within the required time okay it doesn't matter how you do it you just have to do it okay you cannot just stay there and like like work for like non-stop until you finish it there's no such a thing you have to finish it within the time it's not that you need time enough time to finish things okay that's you just have to train yourself like that okay but the thing about staying late is kind of like it's not about staying late it's about like 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 uh wrap things up okay so when you finish something you have to just like wrap wrap it up okay like 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 you have to like just double check and check and and plan what you want to do next and and you set up for your next task basically okay so so in in restaurant we have like transition period okay so where the the first shift get off and the second shift will come on and then there's like a transition period there's like passing of the you know the the the, the however you say it like 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 okay i did this now you need to do that and kind of like that like that right you kind of just like like make sure the other person is, is like up to date and you kind of just like you know, like pass down your 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 task to the next person and make sure you know everything's okay, and then you leave. Okay, a lot of time like people are like, oh my time's up, leave, and then like next person come in, was like, what the hell's going on? What's going on? What's happening? And then you know, so so this is a bad habit. Okay, you shouldn't do that. Okay, but if you do that, it will like help like how how you manage your time like wisely. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so that's what I want to say about like staying late, but also it's just that. Another thing that you do is that it's called time blocking. Okay, I actually looked this up on the internet. This is a term for it. It's called like time blocking. Okay, uh, it means that let's say like you have eight hours work, and then but you have to just like divide that into like section, and then you just like try to like plan your whole day. Like okay, at this time I need to do this. At this time you do this. At this time you do this. And at this time you do this. And then I go home, something like that. Okay. So and then if you can allocate time to do certain things, that means that number one, you already know what you need to do in that day, which is a good thing. Okay. Number two, like because of you allocate time to do those certain things, you can get ahead. Okay. If you need to do, if you know you need to do something else between this time, and you can get head start before the time comes, you can even get head start on the time that you're supposed to do those things. Okay, and and that's because you are conscious of you are like aware of like your time, like you are aware of like where your time goes. Okay, you just don't just randomly show up and do everything. A lot of people work like that. They just show up and they're just like very busy and do all kind of stuff. And your times when the time to get off, and they just like okay, I'm done and just leave and like they don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on and nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> it's just it's just like like oh, it's just such a chaos. And a lot of people work like that. I don't know because. Maybe they're stressed out or something. I don't know. But some people, they're very, very, very organized. You have to see those people. Like, like they're just, like, have organization skill, like, to the max. Like, this time they do this, this time they do this, this time they do this. But there's also a bad thing about that because they're very rigid. That means, like, if you want them to help you with something, they will not help you. If you want them to give them extra stuff, they will not do it. Like, they allocate your time in such a precise way that, like, there's no extra things, Okay. So you don't have to be like so rigid and you don't have to be so like like chaotic. You know, like try to manage your time in a way that is like best, you know, benefit you and, and the place and everything and, and, and if you need to come in a little bit early to make sure that's done. If you need to stay up a little bit late, make sure it's is is like taken care of and, and if you just do those simple things I'm I'm telling you, like it'll make a very, very, very big difference. Okay? So I want to give you, uh, oh, okay, oh, these other things, um, okay, here's another thing I find will really help with time management, and that, that is space, okay, 
it's like the space time a relationship okay the more space you have the less time it takes to do things okay if you always work in a in a place that has no space if there's like clutter there's like no like work area and there's like no like like station set up or like i don't know what your situation is maybe at the office it's like different there's always space but <laughs> at the restaurant that's not always the case there's never enough space so i realized that I just make a space for just have an open space or just have as much space as possible has like space to walk has space to like get stuff has space to like like put your equipment has space to like like assemble or anything like, like i realize just like by having as much space as you can it, like it will help you like work things faster okay that's just the, the fact that i observe okay we have a lot of inspection and then uh when you have like clutter everywhere it was hard for to pass the inspection okay if you already have a lot of space that's like clear when the inspection come you can just like pull a few things away and clean up it's like so much easier like like it saves so much time and i don't know so my experience is like like if you want to save time make sure you have like space okay doesn't matter what space it is just make sure you have enough space for like stuff like if you need to like get rid of some stuff and tidy it up you need to clean you know like i i i found that like as much space you can make for yourself the the faster you do thing <coughs> and another thing is is proximity um whatever you want to do you have you need to have those things close within the arm's reach okay if you keep everything close within the arm's reach you can multitask you can do things very very quickly okay now that's just a habit i developed when i was working at a restaurant i always have whatever i need like within the arm's reach if i need to grab something it has to be reach with in my arm okay i cannot go all of the way like to walk somewhere to run somewhere to to bend down to to jump to like climb or to get stuff like everything i need is within my arm's reach okay and that's just also the principle i follow uh, with 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 everything okay so um this is how how i manage my 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 time okay i, I feel like if you just have the things you need close to you and that will save you a lot of times okay uh and uh also to do things in batches uh this works i guess more relevant to like restaurant work i don't know if you work in the office or something maybe this is not as relevant but i always work things in batches okay like if you need to prep something i always do it like in, in batches okay if i need to prep five things and i'll do all those five things at the same time if i need to like clean up i'll clean out like a bunch of things at the same time if i need to like restock i'll restock a bunch of things at the same time if i need to cook i'll cook a bunch of things at the same time i don't do things in like oh i need this i do this and you need that and you do that you need to refill this you need this, you need to get this you get this i don't do things like singly i always do it like in batches okay so i feel like when you do that it just it just help with your getting ready helps with your tasks it helps you with everything it just saves time when you do things in batches okay so that's what i what i have to say about time management i, I think you know just apply these simple rules and then you can manage your time fairly well okay it, it works really well for me uh so another thing i want to talk about is um just how i guess how your mind things and i guess your attitude and um uh, and um and uh, i i i will i will discuss that in in the in the next topic and 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 <clears throat> so i want you to uh, consider this story okay let's say that i'm i'm using restaurant again because that's my profession <laughs> i can't think of any other example but but i will i will i would to to lead to lead into the next topic i will just give this story first okay imagine you're a cook okay and you work at a restaurant and let's say you close at 10 o'clock and then uh, at 9 59 a group of people came in and then they they sat down and they want to order okay and whatever the policy of the restaurant is like okay like if they came in they order before the closing time then you have to make food for them or something Let, let's say this is the rule of the restaurant okay so at 10 o'clock you're supposed to get up work but then 
they came in at nine fifty nine, and then they wanna they they sat down. They want you to like order, and then you have to stay and cook. Okay, so all kinds of reaction will come from this situation. Okay, so so let's say that um, uh, this happened, and imagine you're the cook, and when you see this kind of situation, like how do you feel? Okay, so so typically. Well, I don't know if this is typical, but for me, when this situation happened to me, I get like very, very pissed off. Okay, I'll say, I'll start to complain about like, oh man, these fucking people like they, they know we're closing like like now, and they just came in like one minute earlier just so they can like sit and, and they don't care that we uh, we have to go, we have to close, we're already cleaned up already, and now I have to like cook again, and like everybody has to stay, and they're like. Take their time. There's like bullshit. Why are they taking this order? Why do we have to say yes to this customer? Why do I like? There's like all kinds of reaction inside. It will start to like happen. Okay, all these complaint, all these, all these like, you know, you, st- you hate those people, and then like, all this like anger, and then like you're stressing, and then you'll be like, oh, I'm supposed to like go home, and I have to, I have to like see my girlfriend. And now I have to stay, and I fucking, uh, and, and these people. They, they just left and I'm the only one here or like this some some all kinds of like like feelings and emotion and like all kinds of stress starts to happen. Okay? So so like you're doing this thing and after you do it you still piss off and you make the food, you piss off and, and then you do all these things, you piss off and after you finish everything they piss off and after they left you piss off and you clean out you piss off and you piss off the entire time and then after you left you piss off. Okay? So this is the situation that happened. Uh, to me, a bunch of times, okay. Um, but I really want to just like when I wanted to, when I start to think about like how can I be happy at work, I start to think about like all these feelings, uh, all these like negative attitude, all these like like misery and suffering, all these like emotion. Like I start to think about this a lot. Like 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 I start to think about like why do I feel this way? Is it really because of what happened on the outside? You know, but of course, outside factor will always influence you. But, but they just use this example. It's like, number one, the policy of the restaurant is that if they come in before they close, they can still order. Okay, so that's already a rule you already know. And second, when they came in to eat, like they didn't eat for free, they, they pay for the food. So it's like, it's like a customer, like, like they're, they're like your customer, they're your guests. And then they came into a restaurant and they, they pay the money, the money goes to you. So it's beneficial to have those people there, okay? And then, and and then also it's like, like you already know the rule. Like if they come in, then you have to make the food. If you know you have to make the food, why do you complain about it? Why do you get pissed off about it? Why do you this and that, okay? And then, and then another thing is like, so what if you do extra work? If you do extra work, it's only for those time. It's not you don't do it all the time. They don't come in all the time. Maybe just that one time they come in. But but only that one time, why do you get like so pissed off about that? That makes sense. And also, let's say that you finish your shift and then you have to stay because of that. But then you get paid for it too. You didn't stay there for nothing. You get paid, maybe like you get paid overtime. Overtime is like more money. Okay, so like all these things like benefit you. Everything that happens benefits you. And it's nothing that hurt you. Everything that happened benefits you. But how come I feel this way? How come I feel all this emotion, this weird thing happening? Okay. So that goes to the next topic, which is like how the mind works. Okay. And then, uh, and then uh, I will use, um, um, I guess as a joke or whatever. Like like this this is a funny things that I see on the internet a lot. Uh, they always label this like instant karma, okay? So it's just like some people are like complain about something, some people are like cursing, and some people are like doing some like being an asshole or whatever. And right away they get hit by a car, or <laughs> right away they fell down the stairs, or right away they like like their their cell phone just like 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 broke or like something. It was like a this was like a funny thing, it's like a funny video. But then the the title will say like instant karma or oh, like these people get what they deserve, okay? And it's always about like people who are like pissed off and then like 
they like they're asshole they're like me and they're like bad people and then like and something bad happened to them like right away and then like like and we laugh about it. it's like haha you get what you deserve and then the title is always like instant karma okay so so why 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 is this phenomenon being observed it's because like like whether you believe in spirituality, whether you believe in karma, or whatever you believe in, whatever thing you believe or you don't believe, uh, you think it's coincident or not coincident, doesn't matter what you think, okay? The phenomenon being observed by people in general is just that when you complain, when you judge, when you like being an asshole, when you're being egotistic, when you have a strong emotion, when you hate something, when you like so jealous when you envy and when you like like just like being mean and when being an asshole like something bad will always happen to you okay it's like karma it's like instant karma it happened to you they call it instant because it happened to you right away okay the pain and suffering and the, the, the some bullshit happened like bad luck and like something happened to you like right away it's not like karma like they call it like instant karma okay like something bad happened right if you kick a dog and it was like right away there was like a bear and come like 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 like, like bite you or something you know, like whatever. That's like ha ha the instant karma like why do you kick a little dog now a bear come and like, beat you up and, or like you cut somebody off and then right away like another car hit you or like got pulled over by the police like like there's all kinds of these videos there and you know you can watch and you can just like ha ha you laugh about it and you, you laugh about it because like ha ha these people deserve what they they get what they deserve. But why do we think that? It's because like, this is like a phenomenon like people observe. Like I observe it too. I observe it in my own life. When I'm pissed off, when I complain, when I pass judgment, when I have strong emotion, when I this and that and whatever, I always end up getting hurt or people are mean to me or something bad happened, I got pulled over by police. <laughs> All kinds of stuff happened to me. And then I was like, like, wow, this is like instant karma. I, I think it's real, you know, like, they always have video evidence of all of this, and then it happens to me in my own life also. So maybe, maybe it's true. Maybe instant karma is true. But let's say if it if it it is true. Let's don't think about whether it's true or not. Let, let's just say if it is true. If it is true, then how what do you do about it? <clears throat> if it is true, that means that you shouldn't complain about things. You shouldn't hate things. You shouldn't you know, just thing. You shouldn't, you know, be egotistic. You shouldn't do that. You, it, because it's instant karma. You do those things, it just brings like extreme bad luck to you. Okay, it's like harmful for your health. So what if that's true? Okay? And, and, you know, like, all these thoughts and emotions, whatever, it comes from your mind. And your mind will think that way is because your mind is distorted to begin with. Your mind is, like, crooked to begin with. For example, like, if, like, the customer came in like right before you close and and then if you're in that situation and if you are pissed off that means your mind is broken because any everything that's benefit to you you think is not benefit to you like your mind automatically think that and why do you might think that because your mind is kind of like twisted it's distorted it's biased your mind only care about your own comfort your own you know, you you might only want you to like relax. You might only want you to feel good. You might only want something that happens your way. You might only accept like what you believe and what's logical to you, what's reasonable to you. Anything that's not logical to you, not reasonable to you. Anything that makes you feel miserable, feel feel annoyed, makes you like do physical work, and your mind will start to like channel all these undesirable things like outwardly as an expression of thoughts as an expression of emotion that's why you will think like oh these people are stupid and why do they do that you suck and I hate it like like it's a manifest as like all kinds of like strong emotion and like things and and that is just your mind's attempt to get control of things because it doesn't like to be uncomfortable okay so this happened naturally, but if you're aware of how your mind works, you will catch these things. You'll be like, oh, right now I really hate, but let's just calm down and look at the situation without the influence of thoughts and emotion. And you'll see that a situation is just a situation. It has nothing to do with like how you feel, how these people feel, how these things happen, how these things, 
how this this don't agree with you, you don't agree with you, or or you think it's right or you think it's wrong. It has nothing to do with that. It's just a situation, and you just have to handle the situation. It, it's just an extra activity. It's just like you do it or you don't do it. This time you do it, and then after that pass you don't do it. And that that's just how it is in many 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 situations, and. And with work is also like that too. Like you have to check yourself. Like why do you feel all these emotion? Like, like if you go to work and you feel all these like, hey, and you have like, oh, I don't want to be here today, or like, like this suck and whatever. Like, like seemingly there's a reason for that. If you think about it, it's like oh, because they never like, like, like care about me, or they never like care about my opinion, they want me to do things and I'm the only one that does it, nobody does it. like there's always like some kind of reason that's made up by your mind, your mind will like you tell you all these things but if you just know that your mind's always distorted, your mind always is biased, your mind's never a, an objective thing, it's always biased, then you will not listen to your mind so much, okay so this takes practice, okay when I first observed this it really takes practice to be like consciously aware like okay here we go again feeling fucked again feeling like this bullshit and uh, uncomfortable again and, and and I just have to realize that is my mind is always biased my mind is always want always my mind only cares about one thing that's you and your ego and your comfort okay like when you're comfortable your mind will not say anything okay you can look at it on the reverse side they say you just stay home not doing anything laying on the couch, watching TV, being comfortable. And you observe your mind at that moment. Your mind will not say, hey, let's get out and do something protected. Hey, you shouldn't do this. You should exercise. You say you want to exercise. You don't exercise. No, your mind will not say such a thing. Your mind will be like, this is great. This is fucking great. This is what life is all about. Sitting on the couch, watching movie, doing nothing, being lazy, sleep, don't do anything. Man, that's what life is about. Oh, time to eat. Oh, time to fuck. Yeah, this is great. This is what life is all about. This is what your mind will tell you, okay? Your mind is biased. Your mind is biased in a way that, like, like whatever you desire is supposed to happen, okay? But that is just what your mind thinks. Your mind only cares about yourself, okay? But if you want to live life fully, you cannot care about yourself. You cannot just care about your feel. You cannot care about, like, what... You think it's right, you cannot just only care about like this and that, okay? You have to live your life, okay? You have to live your life where you are alive with other life and you guys are the same life and you engage with the world, you live in the world, you live, okay? You live and experience things, okay? If you always only listen to what your mind desire, you will not live. You will just be like an animal. You only eat, sleep, fuck, and, 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 and sleep and, and die, okay? So the, the the so so one aspect of the mind is that is is always biased, and you just have to remember that. And when you are aware of that, you will catch it, and then you will not listen to your mind so much. And then your mind will begin to work things in a different way. Okay, it will learn to analyze the situation, not at your comfort. It will learn to like, 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 like. Working out problems, not like working out like your emotion. <clears throat> like it will automatically change because the mind is just a function of like of like you as a human being. It's just part of it. Like we have digestive system, we have nervous system, we have emotion, we have physical. But like mind is also just like a part of your body. Like like it's like a tool you can use. Okay, but 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 once you are aware of like like this these weird things about like self-preservation and real in you realize that just part of the mind what the mind can do and you'll begin to use your mind in other things okay so you can try that like like a like a without getting into too much into this it, like you just apply this in work like like when you're at work you have to avoid instant karma okay <laughs> the point of this is just that you have to avoid instant karma at work okay so like like Try not to hate anything, try not to like judge, try not to like being egotistic. Like sometimes like people cannot let go of their pride. They just have to be right. They just have to say the last word. They just have to say this. But like check yourself, like are you miserable? 
for doing that or you just like if or like is it necessary okay a lot of time you'll find that it's not necessary it's just that it's just work it's just activity it's just the thing you do it's just like when you're there you're doing it and we're not there you're not doing it it's just situation everything is just a situation it's not personal okay it's just situation is not personal okay so that's one thing you have to be aware of just to avoid instant karma uh whatever you can do to aware of your negative emotion and try to do something about it okay um okay so i will give you some stuff where you can begin to uh, not focus so much on your thoughts and emotion but just on the situation uh and and learn to experience like life or learn to experience work in a different way and these are the things that i try to do and i find very helpful okay so first thing i do is activities okay like i say like when you are doing a, a lot of activity like you are naturally happier like if people have something to do if they're like busy they're like doing things they're like naturally happy okay um you can google this there's like study on that but but you know compared to people who don't do anything just sitting at home and not doing anything and be comfortable like seemingly they're comfortable they're happy but actually like people who are like doing stuff always wake up in the morning and have something to do have something to look forward to have like a task to do have uh, have uh, you know have goals and whatever like people who engage in activities are always happier okay so you can apply this to your work like when you work try to like make your work like as fulfilled as possible try to engage yourself at work with as much activity as possible okay if you do that you will not have issue with like oh this is hard or i don't have enough time or like uh man i don't feel like doing that i'm lazy today or, like it doesn't matter it's just that you just fill your day with activity and your day will be like more fulfilled and meaningful and you'll feel happy that's just naturally like like when you do more activity you'll naturally be happy <clears throat> so that's one thing okay and another benefit of just doing activity is that if you do activity in a in a good intensity if you always like push yourself a little bit or challenge yourself a little bit you will improve doesn't matter in what area like you're improving your skill you're improving your you know your patience you improve your you know endurance you you improve something and when you improve you'll be happy okay when when you realize you, like you can do something better then naturally you become happier that's just the way it goes okay so um um if you work if you fill your day with activity with enough intensity then not only that you can improve yourself but your work will also be more efficient okay the work that was hard before will become easy but only because you push yourself a little bit every day you just just a little bit just a little bit to your tolerance right you just do it a little bit and then because of that things become easier if you never challenge yourself never push yourself never try to do more than you can then it will always be hard when you show up you look at the same thing it will be a man fuck i have to do this again it will always be hard but if you just don't focus on that just focus on the task just just do it intensely naturally your body your whatever life itself will like make things easier for you okay you'll get the timing right you'll get the skill you do the movement your manage your energy like whatever thing it will just happen naturally you will naturally become more efficient okay so fill yourself with activity uh the other one is be dependable okay so a lot of time the cause of misery is because you think like no one cares about you okay like people like don't care about you and like this you need help with this or like like how can you favor this person and then or something like that the issue is always about like like oh they don't care about you they don't do things for you they don't help you they don't support you they don't listen to you they don't blah 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 you 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 so it's about you okay and one way to like not think about that besides not thinking about it is just that just do it yourself just be a dependable person yourself okay like like i have people with very very big issue about like break okay when the time comes they're like hungry they want to eat okay they're like hey what even break man what the fuck like just get so like pissed off just because like they're hungry they want to eat okay and then they'll raise they'll raise a big issue about that it's like hey you know what 
there's no bathroom break, there's no break, there's a blah blah, I'm doing this, doing that, and whatever, like, 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 you know, like this and that, this and that, okay? And, and stuff like that, let's they, they just use break for example. Break can be something you can manage yourself, okay? You can look at the time, you can be like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna book break in the five minutes, they come and take over, and whatever. Or if you cannot, just like, Stay a little longer and then go later or like go earlier because before it gets busy. Like like example like that is just kinda like things you can take care of yourself. Don't try to depend on people. Don't try to expect people to help you. Don't try to expect people to take care of you. Don't try to like whatever. Don't don't think they have to be fair to you. Don't don't think like like of course they have to do all that. But I'm just saying that don't take it so personal because like thing didn't happen like like your way, thing didn't happen exactly your way. But but to avoid all of that, just avoid thinking about that. Just be a dependable person in general. Just think of yourself as a person that when something needs to be done, when they need someone who who they can count on, is you. Okay, you're the one that's dependable. You're the one that's capable. You're the one that's that they can count on. You're the one that gets things done. You're the one that can take care of it. You're the one can manage yourself. You you're the one that can do everything. Okay, you are the one that make it happen. Okay, you I think adapting this attitude at work is very important. Uh otherwise you're always gonna look for help, always gonna look for support, always gonna be like, uh oh, help me, always gonna be uh, okay, I'm gonna be weak, okay? You're always gonna be weak if you think that, okay? So like like be a dependable person, okay? Don't be a weak person, okay? Uh, another one is something that I discovered by accident. And uh, I heard this before but I just <laughs> I guess they didn't click, but um, I just show up to work one day, you know, feeling miserable because of you know the people and the whatever or bullshit. I have a lot of issue, and uh, but for some reason for that day I show up. I just have this intention that I will help everybody today. I will not help myself. I will not do anything for myself. I'm there to help everybody. Okay, so I show up that day. I didn't do anything for myself. I just did everything for everybody. This person want that, I did it. This person want this, I did it. Told me to do that, okay, I did it. I did this, or I said, like, oh, can you help me with that, I did it. Okay, so the whole entire time, my focus is only on helping people. Okay, I don't know why I did that that one day, but then it works out great. It's like magic. Like people that are mad at me, they're not mad at me anymore. People are not happy, they're happy. And then, and then, and things that normally don't work out, it worked out. It was like magic. I don't know what happened. I was like, huh, this is very interesting. I think I'll try to do that every day. So I started to do that every day. That's like one of the things I carry to my work all the time. It's just that I'm just always there to help other people. I'm not here to get what I want or do what I want or whatever, whatever. I'm just here to help everybody. I'm 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 a helpful person. I'm I'm here to be helpful. Okay. Wherever I can help the people, help the situation, to help do what I can. Uh it's not that I will make something happen, it's just that I'm just there to be helpful. And for some reason, when I adapt this attitude, everything has worked, worked out fine. Everything was happier, I don't have no conflict talking to people, people started talking to me, and you know, I don't know what happened. But anyway, you can try that. I think like just have the intention of helping. It's not that you have to do other people's work. It's just that your intention is to help everybody, like you're always ready to lend a helping hand. And for some reason, this attitude, this this reaction, this whatever, it just makes everything better around me. Okay, the thing that I normally get pissed off at, I don't get pissed off, it didn't happen, people don't talk to me harshly, or like, I don't know what happened. When I just adapt this attitude, everything just changed, like magic. Okay, so I, I'm trying this for like a long time just to see like, like whether it works or not. And I realize it works out great, okay? So always be a helpful person at work. Always be helpful or not someone to drag everything down, always be the one that's part of the solution, not the problem. You know, just adapt this attitude, I think it will be uh, very, very great. I think it will change your situation. Uh, it's not that you have to do other people's work, okay? When you help people, it doesn't mean, like, instead of doing your work, you're doing your way and his work. So they don't have to do anything. It's not that. It's just that, like, you're always ready to help. You're always ready, okay? It's not, it's not you're not like a slave. We're just always ready, okay? So that's one thing. Uh, last thing is, this This is also something I discovered by accident. Um, 
again, I was showing sure up to work, like very miserable. I was like, oh, I have to deal with these people, deal with the situation, deal with all these things, and blah, blah, blah. It sucks. And I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So that's my attitude. I just show up, and I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just came in like a zombie. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's with these people. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. Okay? So the entire time I was working, I was just didn't know what to do. Okay? And I realized that when I really, like, I guess when you, like, fully realize that you don't have a solution for a problem, you don't know what to do, you're not sure, you're just going to see what happened. I realized when you carry this attitude, like, like you work in such an efficient way. Like it's like it's like I don't know what happened, you know. So I started to look into this, and I realized that when you don't know anything, you begin to look more, you begin to observe more, you begin to listen, because you don't know. So you begin to listen, you begin to open up, you begin to take suggestion, you begin to to see things their way, and just that's just simply because you don't know. So you just naturally be like, okay, so what do I do? You start to ask questions. You start to take advice. You start to like, let them teach you. Let them help you. And and you, when you don't know anything, you will try things. When you don't know anything, you'll be more willing to try things because you don't know. It's like, okay, I guess I'll try this. I guess I'll do this. Also, I'll, I guess, I guess, I guess this is how it's done. <coughs> uh, and then I also realized that when you realize you don't really know anything, you begin to learn stuff. Okay, so like, well, I don't know. I guess I'll learn how to do this. I guess I'll learn how to do this. I'll learn from this guy. I learn from that guy. Or this guy teach me, and I'll learn it. Uh, I guess I don't know any better, so I'll learn it. Uh, I don't know if I agree with this. I don't know if this is the right thing, but I'll just learn it anyway. So I began to learn stuff. Okay, you begin to listen more, to observe more, to learn more, and then also. You begin to like laugh more, okay? So everything like become like funny to you because <laughs> you just don't know anything. So like, oh, I don't know what to do. I'll do this, okay? So I I don't know. It's like like when you realize you don't really know anything, it kind of like makes you like like more like easy going. It makes you like more relaxed, and you begin to to laugh more. Laugh is like everything becomes funny to you, okay? It's not like a like a ha ha ha. You're crazy, you know? I, I, I feel like when you start to laugh more, it just means that you're like more relaxed, like like you're more at peace with yourself. Okay. So I give you an example. <clears throat> okay, so I have this guy, he uh he likes to smoke weed or something all the time. Okay, so he does this a lot, like when he before right he, before he comes to work. So he comes to work, he will just like laugh. He will just laugh like crazy. Everything he say he laugh and he and you talk to him, he laugh, and he talk to you, and then he laugh, and, and he just laugh, laugh the whole time. Like, ha, 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 Everybody worked next to him and was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Ha, 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 Always laugh, 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 laugh. And then when you go to break and smoke some more weed and come by and laughing, and then when you go on break and smoke some weed, come by and laughing, 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 laughing all the way till like he get out of work and laughing, laughing, and leaving. Okay? So after that, he was fired. Because <laughs> he just laugh all the time. Like, like a crazy person, just laugh. Because smoke weed so much. Okay? And then like oh obviously he didn't show up on time or whatever, you know, all kinds of problems because he's just a, he just gets high all the time. He laugh, 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 and then everybody look at him and say, ha 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 and then he's ha 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 and then and then he get fired and say like, ha ha ha, right? Because he's like undependable, he's like getting high all the time, how are you gonna work like that? So he got fired. <clears throat> okay? So the point of this story is that the reason he smoke weed is because the work is so hard. The work is so so miserable. The work is so stressed out that he has to take substance to intoxicate himself. Otherwise, he, he cannot go on with his work. Okay? But when you are not peaceful within yourself, you have to take something that makes your mind peaceful. So when your mind is peaceful, the effect is that you just start to laugh more. Okay? But he did it by forcing himself to do that. Okay, the peacefulness didn't come from within himself. He just takes something to intoxicate himself. So he relax. He forces his body to relax. And then the side effect of that is just that he starts to laugh more. Okay, so my point on this story is just that 
that like it's important when you work, you are peaceful. Okay, when it's important when you work, you are like relaxed and you're easy going. Okay, because your body needs it. Okay, when you are not relaxed, you're not peaceful. You cannot work. You'll be like so miserable. You have to smoke weed. Otherwise, you cannot go on. Okay, your body cannot function when it is in pain. Okay, that's why he has to smoke weed. Okay, so that so it's very important that you have a peaceful. You are in a peaceful state when you work. Okay, when you when your mind is relaxed, when your mind is not full of like thoughts, emotion, and judgment, and all kinds of stuff, you naturally be relaxed, and you will start to laugh more. But like you laugh like naturally, you didn't force your body to laugh. If you force your body to laugh, you'll be like the guy who smoked weed. Like he can't even stop laughing even when he doesn't want to. Everything seems funny to him because he's so intoxicated. He's so high. Okay, but you know, like having peacefulness within yourself, then you naturally you'll become more like relaxed. And this is why I realized when I adapt this attitude, just like like oh, I realize I don't really know anything. Everything I can do better. Everything I can improve. Everything I can learn. Everything there's a better way. Like my way is not absolute. And when you do that, like you eliminate like more than half of your thoughts in your your mind. You know, you, you eliminate all these fluctuation of emotion. You're like naturally more peaceful when you just realize that there's always room to learn more. There's always room to listen. There's always room to like, like, like. Acquire like new knowledge, like you don't know anything, okay? Like what you know is just so minuscule, like you don't really know anything. Like you rather don't know anything, and that will just naturally make you more willing to learn, more willing to open up, more willing to improve, and blah blah blah. But at the same time, it also make you more peaceful because you start thinking about things, you start judging things, you start thinking what's right or wrong. You just simply, well, I don't know, so I'll give it a try. <laughs> and then you'll be peaceful and you'll be happier. You start to smile more. You 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 just you just you just laugh more, and then that will just help improve your situation in all kinds of way. People like you more. People talk to you. People like open up to you. People train you because you're coachable. Blah blah blah. blah all kinds of great things you open up. Okay. So that's my take on the, the work. Okay. And I hope these things will help you.